third time into the wall. Chiefs desperate to gain something for their efforts today. Been right up against it. Taken up to the try line and beyond it. Might be the debutant. It is. It's Danny Southworth on his Premiership debut. And the Chiefs have a try. Hi guys, um, my name is Danny Southworth and I went to uh, Pilton School about uh, five five or six years ago now. Um, I'm a professional rugby player for the Exeter Chiefs and um, I've signed a three year contract with them. I got involved with sport um, through my local club, Barnstable. Um, yeah, I played rugby from, from quite a young age. I, I tried out quite a few different sports um, as football, gymnastics, but um, I soon came to terms with the fact that um, those sports were never going to be for me just because of uh, my size and my capabilities in, in those sports. Um, so, yeah, play, played uh, sport at the local club, Barnstable, played all through school um, and count, at county level. So that's sort of how I got involved. Uh, but I think a good thing is, is just to make sure that you try out um, all different sports at a young age, just to see what you're really good at and what you enjoy most. So my experience in school was fairly good. I, I enjoyed it at the most part. Um, I think in the last two years of school, I really uh, decided to knuckle down and realised that I did I did have to do that um, to get the grades and that uh, school wasn't wasn't a big joke and I'd, I may, I'd probably take took it more seriously in the last two years and um, came out with some uh, all right grades uh, because as most of you will know most sporting careers um, they won't last forever, so you always have to have to have a backup. So yeah, I did enjoy school. Um, had a nice nice group of friends. Um, enjoyed being in part of the uh, football and rugby teams and in the athletics. So there wasn't mo much I disliked. Probably um, maths, maybe me and maths didn't get along very well. Um, but I came out with the grades I needed at the end. I went to Ivy Bridge College uh, after leaving school, so I left home um, straight away. Um, went to Ivy Bridge College, which is in Plymouth. Went there for two years, of course, and uh, I studied BTEC Sport. Um, alongside that, it was a Ivy Bridge College is basically there's like a there's a rugby program there. Um, so yeah, I could basically. Do all of my rugby alongside studying as well. That would have to be making my Premiership debut. Um, I made my Premiership debut last year uh, against Wasps and um, managed to dot down a, a try, which wasn't very pretty, but but I'll take it. So yeah, that was probably my greatest achievement. And um, I think if I manage to sign another contract with Exeter, that will that will um, couple that alongside it. A normal day for me um, would look like in the morning I have to do a lot of mobility, a lot of flexibility to get ready for the day's training. Um, then I'll have either breakfast or a gym session, um, followed by a training session, um, then followed by quite a few meetings. Um, so our meetings sort of contain um, us reviewing the other team that we're going to play at the weekend to see sort of their strengths their weaknesses um and where we can we can pick faults and, and try and, and try and beat them um yeah so i probably most days i have about two two training sessions and gym session um followed by a lot of meetings um get breakfast and lunch cooked for us which is um a big a big uh, reward for us rugby players is we like to eat a lot of food. So, yeah, that's a big bonus of um, being a rugby player, I guess. The Gibson side held on for a 29-20 victory, third place in the Grand League Finals. I, I've come in from uh, Barnstable and come from quite a small town and the school. I've had amazing support from 
um, from family and from friends who I used to go to school with and, and people in the area, especially when I made my debut, it was quite, quite a special moment because um, a lot of people who I haven't spoke to for a while or um, people who I used to go to school with got in touch and congratulated me. So yeah, I think it made it uh, even more special to, to realise that I had uh, the support that I did. Um, and I think that is really important because it, yeah, it, it makes everything more special. It makes you have a bit more of a drive um, to succeed. I'm very proud of what I've achieved so far, but um, I do want to go on to do to do greater things. Um, I'd like to be an established rugby player in the Premiership, um, and my contract is well potentially being renewed this year. So. Um, hopefully that'll be a step towards that. My absolute dream goal is to uh, obviously play for England, but um, that's that's a long-term goal. And short-term and medium-term, I'd just say, is to sign a new contract with Exeter and uh, begin to play a few more um, Premiership games. Although I, I feel very lucky and privileged to uh, be doing what I'm doing, there are a lot of... Um, mental external factors that um come alongside it i.e not not getting selected um at the moment not being able to play um i've only played one game in a year because of coronavirus and i know everyone's in a similar sort of boat in their different aspects but for me yeah the greatest barrier I'd, i would say is just is not being selected or um being told that you're not good enough here um, and having to pick yourself back up um, but from that I've, I've gained um, quite a lot of mental toughness and resilience I would say yeah I would just say if if you want something then you've got to work you have got to work really hard for it um, and that's alongside all of your school work as well so you've got to find the balance between enjoyment and and grit and, and hard work because I, I play rugby and I uh, do rugby because I enjoy it it's not every day isn't um, all rainbows and butterflies but at the end of the day yeah I do it because because I enjoy it and I've got to where I am through through hard work um, I would say now it's even more of a challenging time than when I was at school because all of your um, exams and all of your lessons are currently online um, and there's a lot of interruptions with COVID. Just, I would just say that try and find, try and find a good group of uh, friends um, who are in the same boat as you and you can just try and drag it drag each other along uh, along the way um, try your best to enjoy the subjects and take as much out of them as you can every subject isn't going to be for you but like um, I'm not going to lie and say that you're going to be great at every subject because you won't but um, yeah I think I think just try your best to enjoy them and engage in all the lessons and find a a nice circle of friends who you can really um, drag each other through with, especially in these tough times at the moment.